What's happening, y'all? It's your boy Zell, and welcome back to Get Right or Get Wrong. Had to wear the hoodie today. I feel like it was a hoodie day. I'm gonna go wear it because there's been a lot of bullshit going on where I work at, man. Like my building, it's been chaotic. Like I've been seeing everything break down. Um, stuff backed up. I seen slam lines. Like it's so many pallets. It's too many orders, man. I guess these customers is going hard in the paint on these orders, and they had a lot of good stuff on sale. I ain't gonna lie. You know what I'm saying? I wish I could have did, but right now, I got to use my money for other stuff. So I just wait for Black Friday. Hopefully, I won't have no responsibilities around that time. But it's been chaotic, man. A lot of people mad about this MET. And some people mad that, you know, some people had MET was getting VTO. I'm like, you crying about the MET, <clears throat> and you crying about the VTO. Now, granted, yes, you did waste gas to come to work, but you get to go home. It's either you're going to stay there or go. It's one of the two. But um, so we just gotta we gotta stop that nonsense, man. Like, get the bread, or just stop crying and go home. But don't be crying about it, bro. You you got the MBT, you got the VTO, take it, go home and be home, not making no money or whatever you got going on your other side hustles. Like, just I got tired of hearing people complain about it. I'm like, bro, I don't want to hear that shit. But temp temperatures have been flaring. I've been seeing people argue around ship dock and. Then the returns, like, you know, people frustrated. You know, they probably tried to see in yellow. <laughs> they probably tried to see in yellow. That's why I was standing out of people's way. I had on yellow today. I was like, I probably be like a tote. So I don't want them to get mad at me. Get the fuck away from me. I, I don't know. I'm like, I don't want no problems. But, man, I got enough problems, bro. Like, I've been having the same problems with the same people that I thought it was over with and stuff like that. You know, you would think you, like, squash beef with somebody and you, you know, figure out, hey, what did we do wrong last time? You know, you did this. Hey, you know, and you could tell a person like, man, yo, you you got my name. You got, you got my number. Because we was cool at one point. You got my social media. You got Slack. Come holler at me if we have a problem. If I came at you wrong, you didn't like my body language, my tone. Come holler at me. Let's fix the situation. I'm like, okay, my bad. And I apologize. Wash my hands. I move different. But I'm also going to let you know what you did that caused this behavior or this reaction out of me. Some people don't like accountability. Some people just like, yeah, that and whatever I did doesn't matter. You, you shouldn't do what you did. That's not how life works. That's not how life works. And you know, when people doing all this stuff to you know affect your job, it's not, now it's getting personal. Now it's getting bad. And you know, sometimes some friendships can't be repaired. It's like, yo, just stay away from me. I stay away from you. Hey, we can, you know, we can breathe the same air. We can be around each other and do, do work. But, like, outside of work talk and stuff like that, that's not going to happen. Especially if you can't be, like, a real human being and be like, yo, I realize that's kind of messed up. I could, this, not just me. This could be anybody's situation. If you did wrong somebody and you really think about it, you can affect their way of living and eating and paying their bills. Yo, apologize to them, man. That ain't, It's not hard. Like, yo, I, that was messed up. I shouldn't have did that. That wasn't cool. I wouldn't did that. But <clears throat> being that we in some type of work environment, there's a lot of favoritism. You know what I'm saying? I used to always say it was, it wasn't. But you know, as I'm before I got to my department that I'm at now, I seen it in my previous one. But I'm really seeing it where I'm at now. I'm like, yo, this favoritism right here and unfair practices is getting out of control. There is no reason, man. Look. And say this, and this is in real life. There's three sides to a story. It's that person's side, your side, and the truth. But for some reason at my job, they seem to like forget your side and the truth. We gonna believe this person. That is not cool. That is out the window and it's kind of getting to the point that everybody in my department is just like getting shaky around here. I'm not gonna lie, I'm scared. That's why I stay away from certain people. I don't even want to talk to them. Because I feel like if I say something wrong or my hand moves the wrong, too far to the left, they're going to run on me. And then the person believes them. Everything that they say, they're going, oh, well, this happened, this happened. Like, bro, that did not happen. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm dead serious. I can't make this stuff up. And I just feel like I got a target on my back. Because me, I'm one of those people, when I see something that's unfair or I see it's unjust and it's like, yo, like, because I'm a team person. They like to say I'm not a team player. I'm definitely a team player, man. I feel like if any decisions go on in our department, we need to discuss it as a team. It's not one person like, yo, this is what it is. Like, huh? 
How would you feel if I was to do something like that? I'm one person, yo, this is what it is. That's not how that work. That's not that, how that work, man. We all have to pull our weight. We all tired. We all got stuff we don't want to do, but we have to do it. But in some cases, some people don't have to do stuff in our department. And that, that's not cool, man. It's not. And it's weighing, it's starting to weigh in on everybody. They're getting tired of it. They're getting tired of it. They're getting tired of the petty arguments and people getting better treatment. It's just ridiculous, man. But me, I'm the one that really get the arrows in his back because me, they like to call me the rebellious one. Me, I literally am the most outspoken person in my department. On day shift, nights they give it up too. I'll salute them. They will give it up. But on days, I'm really like the most outspoken person there. I will speak when I hear some nonsense. Like, you know, people will throw out ideas at the job that benefits them and think that people don't notice that like yo I, th this idea you got right here is kind of bogus i don't i don't i don't want to rock with it and you know and that person don't like that you didn't agree with them they call higher parties that's favorite that's their favorite they come out and get the barking like a dog like a bodyguard like well this this them like hold on bro are y'all upset because i see through the nonsense what you're trying to do here like no, we're not we're not doing that. It's it's already unfair that people don't have to do certain roles in a department. You want to make it more, put more sugar on them, more sugar, more sugar. Just uh, it's the it's just sweet for them. Sweet, 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 sweet. About to get a cavity out this bitch. It's just sweet for them. But the rest of y'all, fuck y'all. Y'all gonna do this. This is what it is. Yeah, this how it's gonna be. Don't worry about them over here. AKA the favorites. Bro, that's out, bro. If you're going through that at your job, man, you need to speak up. You got to speak up, man. You got to speak your mind. Don't be afraid of retaliation. Start to learn these HR laws. Start to learn some of this stuff. Like, bro, you, if I feel any type of retaliation, if I come and speak on something, or I feel like something ain't right, I'm speaking on it. If you got a lawyer, get a lawyer ready. It's getting crazy, man. It's getting crazy. I'm hearing people in there talking about, I don't know, man. I might have to get some lawyers involved over here. Not just in my department, but everywhere. It's a lot of weird shit going on in Amazon. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> and like I say, I salute Amazon. Like, that's my favorite job I ever had. I won't speak on Amazon as a company. I'm talking about the people that's in that bitch. You feel what I'm saying? Like, hey, man, it's some corrupt, toxic shit going on up in here. Like, and it's getting old. It's getting old. You feel what I'm saying? Like, like I said, if I do anybody wrong, I always apologize about it. Like, man, look, I, I was in my feelings at the time. My bad. But let me tell you why I was in my feelings. Maybe you could do something to not push that button. We all went to school, man. We all know what cause and effect is. People just try to make me out to be like this guy that just, eh, good morning, I'm on bullshit today. That is not how that works. You did something that triggered me. I said something because uh, I'm very outspoken. My manager know that. She says that. You outspoken. But my problem is, it's like I'm too outspoken to the point where I will hold stuff in. Hold stuff in. Hold stuff in. Now at this point, I'm a walking time bomb. Because I feel like if I'm outspoken... I'm in trouble. I'm damn if I do, if I don't. If I don't speak, I get in trouble. If I do speak, I get in trouble. It's like, bro, what the fuck is going on here? Well, y'all need to stop having two different groups of people. Like, bro, some personalities just don't click. It is what it is. You can't force somebody to be somebody's friend. This is not a turd. You can't go in there and force this shit. You can't force that. And like, if somebody do you wrong... They have the right not to forgive you, especially if you didn't say sorry. You know what I'm saying? Maybe if you say sorry, you'd be like, all right, man, people make mistakes. People do some messed up stuff. But hey, let's let's patch this up and move a little different. No, I don't have to forgive somebody for stabbing my friend. I don't have to forgive somebody that ran my dog over. I don't have to forgive somebody that did something messed up to me. I don't have to forgive you. I don't have to. That's not a law. It's not a rule in the rule book anywhere. So this whole weird stuff they got in my department, if if uh, uh, somebody do th something to somebody and they don't want to talk to them no more, they don't have to talk to them. They don't, man. As long as y'all can coexist and do the job together, all right.
So if you got certain people on the side of the table and other people on the side of the table, we see what's going on here. Like, hey man, we over here vibing. This other side of the table, they got some other shit going on. They playing with people's money. They they over here like really trying to make us look like disgruntled workers and we're not. You know what I'm saying? Like, all right, maybe y'all go the extra mile. We're tired. We did what we supposed to do. We doing that. We're going to go the extra mile. Bro, I'm tired from doing the regular work. If you want to do that, that's fine. Go ahead. You feel what I'm saying? But, like, it's just crazy. Like I said, the favoritism and all this shit. Well, one person says something to a manager and they get to yelling at, and yelling at everybody else and belittle with us like we don't do no work. Like, bro, that is out. That is out. That is so disrespectful to say that nobody doing no work. You know, sitting somewhere. Meanwhile, the person that they hold to in this diamond crystal is doing the exact same shit that you claim that we're doing. They're doing nothing outside smoking their ass off. But claim that they watch us on camera. Like, did you watch them outside for 30 minutes, 31? I think the top time I seen these people doing that shit, they was outside for like 43 minutes. I didn't hear one complaint. I didn't hear nothing. Because you know what, we, the, the, that side of the table we talking about, we stay out of people's business. We don't move on that type of time like, hey man, that's on them, whatever. We don't get the same love back. That side of the table be like, well, they did this. I'm like, bro, calm down. And I seen that in a lot of departments, bro. Like, what, what is you? What is what is your goal for this? You're making the situation worse. You're causing a hostile work environment when it doesn't have to be. Get in, do your work, and get out. At this point, it's harassment. Like, bro, you keep bothering us. You keep coming over here because something ain't going your way or you have an idea and nobody agrees with it. That's not a reason to go tell somebody. Nobody cussed at you. Nobody came at you the wrong way. Nobody did nothing. And then to come out here and this, the, the person tell me, I heard it was an argument. What the fuck are you talking about? There was never an argument. Roll the tape back. What? Where? What did you even see us say two words to these other parties? I had a dude the other day that said I threatened him. I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? That's why I feel like a target is on my back, y'all. I feel like he's the person that's not going to agree and get down and be quiet. We need to get him out of here. When we tell him jump, he needs to be asking how high. When we say run, he needs to run, ask how fast. I'm not doing that. What do you mean? I'm there to, I'm there to do a job and get up out of there. I'm not trying to be the top dude up in there. I'm not trying to get promoted. I'm cool at where I'm at. I have a goal right now. If that's what you want, that's on you. Don't put what you got on me because you want to do extra stuff. That's on you. Don't push that on me. It's, this shit is getting old, man. Everybody in my department is getting tired of it. It's old now. And a lot of people are going through that in their departments, man. Like I said, Amazon is a dope-ass job, but the people, some of the people they got up in there Oh, it made the place feel like a hellhole sometimes. I can never talk down on Amazon. I can't. Not because I work there, because like that would be unrealistic, man. Like this, like this job is some of the easiest shit you can do. It is. So much benefits and so much good shit in there. It's the people, not the company. That's why I can never shit on Amazon. That would be bullshit. Like, man, you just saying that because, like, no, I'm telling you. I've had some fucked up jobs. I've named them. You know what I'm saying? Like, Walmart was fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Arby's was fucked up. Like, like you know, the, 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 the policies and the benefits and all types of shit. Like, this job right here has been the shit. But I left AFE to get away from drama. Just for me to come downstairs to some more drama and see people transform before my eyes. Like some of these people I've worked with and now I'm down here, they different people. They're different people. Like this is not the person I knew. Who is this person? Oh, I can't click with you. I got to stay away from you. And that's another thing I will say this. I'm a person that does not get bothered if you do not talk to me. It, it don't bother me. I don't lose any sleep. It's not going to mess up my shift. It's not. Now, on the other side, some people get bothered when you do not talk to them. It, it, it hurts their soul. It makes them, I feel left out. Like, what do you mean? Look what kind of games you've been playing. 
who who's going to be around that? Nobody like, hey man, I don't want no problems. I'm scared of you at this point. I admit it. I ain't never said I was scared of somebody. <laughs> I ain't never said I was scared of somebody at my job. I, I fear at least four people over here. Like, I am scared of y'all, man. Get away from me. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's to that point, like, I don't even, mm -mm. I don't want to say good morning the wrong way. So I don't even say good morning, goodbye. He said good morning too aggressively. He said goodbye like he was ready to hurt me. I'm like, oh, no. Hey, man, you got it. Hands up, don't shoot. So I don't even speak to people. So, But when I don't speak to people, now that's a problem. Bro, I'm telling you, it's like a losing battle, regardless of what you do. And it's getting old, man. I just, I'm just ready to take this CDO test and get up out of there, man. It's, it's time to go. Like I said, that department is easy. Easy. Easy work, you know what I'm saying? It gets tedious every now and then, but it's easy for the most part. But like I said, it's some people, I'm going to say the people, some people, it's like, bro, I can't be around them, man. Hey, they might feel the same way about me. They can't be around me. That's cool. So I'm about to try to get up out of, here, out of there. But on my terms, I'm not trying to get up out of there because you're trying to get me out of there. That's not how this road. You should probably be patient with me like I'm being patient with y'all. I've been dealing with a lot of bullshit. People going to HR on me telling on me like i'm like public enemy number one over there and i'm like one of the hardest motherfucking workers over there i get out when i get in the forklift i get out when i'm on the desk i get out when i'm pulling when it's time to pull i'm not distracted talking to people i'm helping the team out i can't say that for other people and it's like it's unfortunate it's like that at every at every job man they be looking at the people who do like the most less shit up in there they look at them like they just like these top fucking dogs. Like, bro, no, you're not. You don't even do what I do. I see it all the time. Like, how is this person being praised over people that go harder than him? Like, we do with this, this, that, and that. You do this and that. You see these two difference? How is this over this? Huh? Last time I don't remember. Four was more than two. It's ridiculous. And that's why I'm like, it's some weird shit going on up in there. But I don't want, I'm not going to say that because last time I was spreading rumors. So I'm like, I'm not going to say nothing else. But if you got a person that's telling you two plus two is five and you said, uh-huh, yep, it is five. What the fuck? What are you talking about, bro? It's four. Like, okay, I see. You know what I'm saying? And it make you look at the shit like, what's going on here? Like, I got to get out of there, y'all, at this point. I do. I do. I, like I said, if you was, like, really seeing what I could see and all that stuff, going through what I was going through, you would be like, this shit is a movie. I, I can't believe this shit is going on. But um, just do what I'm doing, man. Try your best to have patience. I was so goddamn mad the other day, man. I had to go outside and smoke and just let the steam out, let the anger out. It was ridiculous. I wanted to come home, but I need my money. I need my money, but I'm looking like, man, this shit got to stop, bro. It has to. Something has to give. But um, just try to survive, y'all. I know I tell y'all to try to survive, but I, I got to practice what I'm preaching. You know what I'm saying? Try to survive. I'm trying because I already know my, my anger can get somewhere crazy, but I, I will say I have self-control. I have to, I do have self-control. So, um, I just, I, I had to vent to y'all, man. It's just been a lot of, a lot of crazy stuff going on at that building. Not just my department, but everywhere. A lot of temperatures have been flaring up. It's been busy. Um, things been breaking down and, you know, people been leaving, people been quitting, especially in the cleaning department. They just been gone, man. I, like I said before, I think that pandemic made a lot of people lazy, man. A lot of people don't even want to work no more. They feel like it's, if they feel like they bust a sweat, I, I'm doing too much. I'm about to leave. I quit. Like, wow. It's kind of sad, man. But like, share, subscribe if you haven't already, man. I'm about to get ready to eat something. I definitely had to make this video because I did tell y'all I was going to give y'all a rundown on, you know, what pretty much popped off. Maybe later on in the future when I'm not at Amazon no more, I could really give y'all the nitty gritty of what was really going on. You know what I'm saying? I talk about the work spot, but there's a lot of stuff I cannot talk about. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's okay for me to be home in my own 
comfort of my home and with my own equipment. I'm not saying no names or talking down on nobody. I just tell y'all my personal work experience. It's, it's crazy. But salute to all my new subscribers. Welcome to the channel, man. Like I said, I do video requests. Hit me up on IG or just throw a message out. Hit the comments. Let me know. And I'll definitely do that for y'all. But I'm about to go ahead and make this dinner and get ready to go to work and get ready for my off days and do some studying because my test is on Tuesday. I will see y'all later. Remember, survive. Watch your anger. I'm going to try to do the same. Real talk.